Boom! What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review. Super excited to jump in today and review a bag that I received, uh, gosh, about a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. It is one of those bags. I don't know if you've ever had this experience, but check out the thumbnail for this video. I saw this bag and had to buy it. I was just so hyped. This sling looked epic. And some of you may notice, by the way, that I have added a DJI, DJI mic. It's been the number one most requested feature on the channel. Um, so you're welcome. Hopefully the audio is better than ever moving forward. All right, so let's do this. I had to buy the North Face Borealis Sling when I saw it on those pictures and I opened the bag and got this. Okay, so what do you think? First impressions. Compare this to the images in uh, the thumbnail and that's the image that I used when I purchased this bag. Hmm. Okay, let's dive in. We're going to do the full thing. You know what we do on this channel. We do uh, one take bag reviews. We're going to do a full walkthrough of the exterior and interior of this bag. Then we're going to do two things we like, two things mm, not so much, and then an overall recommendation. Should you buy the Borealis Sling from North Face? All right. So first off, we've got um, some bungee attachment points on the exterior of this nylon sling. Um, some very, uh, I think, tasteful branding. We've got the North Face up here. We've got Borealis down here, which is a, a brand, uh, kind of a micro brand uh, that they use for backpacks as well. And the Borealis backpack looks a lot like this, but giant sized and is pretty dang nice as a backpack, um, almost bomb proof. All right, so we've got some webbing attachment points here. We have the bungee attachment points here, webbing on the other side as well. On the back, we have a really cushioned, nice strap. And we have a little pocket here that ostensibly could be used for cell phones. It kind of flexes out to the side. Uh, but given the size of cell phones in this day and age, this is more of a credit card pocket. You have a little attachment point on the bottom. You have zipper pulls on the zippers on both sides here. A little bit of cushioning on the back of the sling. And on the side here, you have a drink holder. Stretches out on the side. All right, so let's talk pockets. On the side, you have a really, really nice cushioned white felt pocket, which runs the whole length. This is about twice the size of a typical sunglasses pocket. Um, so you'll be very, very happy with, it runs from kind of this whole front section here. You'll be very happy with that pocket as you go. No zipper pull on this one, by the way, paracord only, um, but a really nice zipper and a really nice um, overall feel to that uh, pocket, okay? So what is next? Uh, next up on the pockets, you have the main compartment. Inside this main compartment, which zips three quarters of the way around, you have one web pocket on the front, the see-through mesh with a zipper here, okay? And then a main compartment itself, which does flex a little bit out. What's the best way to say this? It's about the size of a two liter inside this bag. So imagine a two liter of Coke or Pepsi, you're stuffing it down inside this bag. That's about how big this bag is. Then on the back, you have a tablet pocket. Um, and we'll talk about that here in a second, um, but it is padded on the back side, not on the front side, and uh, minimal bottom padding, um, but there is a gap between the bottom of the tablet pocket and the bottom of the sling itself, so it, it's not gonna hit the floor if you toss the sling down on the floor. Uh, so that's it, that is the sling. Um, for a sling, you shouldn't expect a ton more features than that. Um, I did neglect to mention there is a very nice grab handle at the top of this bag, uh, cushioned and kind of double stitched with this nylon. Um, really nice, really nice product there. Okay, so let's talk about this thing. Uh, 
I'm pulling this sling forward as an example uh, of something that is my number one pet peeve within the entire bag industry. You could say marketing in general, but bag industry. But before we get into that, let's talk about two things we really like about this sling. The first thing I really like about this sling, this might be the best sunglasses pocket um, that I've ever seen on a bag. I don't say that lightly. This is cushioned, this is plush. This thing is really, really nice. It's high contrast, the white versus the mustard yellow material of the bag um, is really gorgeous. Uh, it's, it's massive, it's huge, it's ideally placed um, for slinging the bag around and the bag ending up on this side, you reach down into the bag. Yeah, it, it's a really, really nice sunglasses pocket. So I do love that. The second thing I love about this bag is the color Waze with an S. Uh, this bag is kind of up against the Patagonia Atom in their lineup and the um, uh, Kiva or Kavu rope slings. Kavu rope slings. Um, so color customization is a thing within this segment of the, the bag industry. And so you get a lot of options. I really particularly like this mustard with the white interior. I think it looks really, really crisp and really pops. Um, I do absolutely love the colorway choices. Okay, now let's talk about two things we don't like. Um, the first thing I don't like is the size of this bag. This bag is, I don't even know how to say it, comically small. That's what I'll say. Take a look at this. This is one of my favorite slings of the last year. Also from North Face, by the way. This sling is so dang good. This one is the Alt Commuter. I've got a full review of that. I'll link to it in the video description. This one is the Borealis, okay? You can see from a form factor perspective, they're not too far off, but this sling is 10 billion times better, 10 billion times better because it's usable as a tech, as a tech sling. You have a really nice kind of tablet sized or small laptop sized uh, compartment in the back. This sling is barely usable. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. All right, so this is a Nintendo Switch in a protective case. Most people who have a Switch have some sort of protective case. You can get that into this bag, okay? A little tight, but it works. This is an 11 inch iPad outside of the Magic Keyboard. No go. So you're talking Kindle, iPad mini, or Nintendo Switch only on this sling. And if you're wondering, you can barely get an 11 inch iPad into the sling if you don't use the protective pocket, but who is not gonna use the protective pocket on their tablet? So the size is an issue, and not just with the, with the tablet sleeve, the water bottle pocket on the side, even though it has some stretch, barely fits a 20 ounce soda slash bottled water. So it, this thing is, it, it's just comically small. Um, and I feel bad saying that, but it is the truth. So let me stretch this thing out, show you what it looks like on, zip it up first. But that's not what I really want to talk about. What I really want to talk about is coming up here. Comically small, right? So what's the second thing I don't like about this bag? I don't like the advertising and pictures that they put up on their site about this bag. I feel like what I thought I was buying and what ended up shipping are two different products. And I don't like that feeling. It's one of the worst feelings. It's kind of that wish.com um, feeling where you, you purchase something that looks great in the pictures and then it comes and you say, wait, that was $60? And that's the truth. This is $60. 
incredibly disappointing. Um, so overall, my thoughts on this bag. Number one, you should not buy this bag. I can't think of a single good reason to pay $60 for this bag. I mean, let's say maybe you have a Borealis backpack and you want a sling that perfectly matches your bag. Maybe that's the only, the only case in which I can think that this purchase would be a good one. Outside of that, I just can't see it. There are so many other options in the hip pack slash fanny pack slash sling pack zone that are so much better than this bag, including the alt commuter from North Face. So it's not like North Face makes bad bags. Typically they make excellent bags. This is just not one of them. Um, it feels like it was made exclusively for 12 or 14 year olds, um, which is disappointing because that's not the aesthetic that it has. So it looks great, it's comically small, and it's not exactly what I thought I was buying when I saw the pictures. So don't recommend this one, uh, which is tough for me because I wanted to love this bag so much. That's it for now. Thank you, Wanderers. Really appreciate you supporting the channel um, and really appreciate uh, you viewing as always. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.